Who are you? Tame Impala. Tame Impala is truly one of a kind. Kevin Parker produces and performs all of his own music, which is a blend of pop, psych rock and hip hop. An artist who truly cannot be defined by a genre. But how can you at home make a sound so distinctive as Tame Impala? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made a Tame Impala beat from scratch. Tame Impala has used 60s Ludwig kits on lonerism and currents. Kevin was using a 1960s Ludwig in a configuration commonly known as Super Beat, and that was with a 13 inch rack tom, a 16 inch floor tom, and a smaller 20 inch bass drum. Here I have a simple pop drum pattern. Kevin Parler's Kevin Parler. Kevin says he likes his drums blown out. I love drum sounds that are just fuzzed out and and just destroyed sounding. Which leads us to this. Same in Parler says drums are the most important part, so you really have to get this bit right. I mean, drums are just the most important thing to me. Like, like rhythms to me are almost more important than the music. Decapitator adds the fuzzy distortion and the compressor makes the drums sound huge. As well as this, the compressor grabs some of the room noise and amplifies it, which gives the drums such a distinct live sound. The new Auburn drum and drum break kit is now out. If you're a fan of Tyler, the creator, Travis Scott, Tame Impala, Kanye West, Frank Ocean, you will love this kit. So we have the different sections we have the experimental drum loops. We have tons of hip hop drum loops. And pop drum loops. And as well as this, we have a stacked drum one-shot kit. I made this kit really to allow producers to make their most creative work yet. The kit will be 20% off for this week only. And I promise you, you will not regret getting this kit. So are you happy with your drums? Now it's time to move on to the chords. No, God, please, no! Mr. Impala is a big fan of seventh chords. A seventh chord is just a trad with the seventh scale introduced, obviously. I started with the synthy organ sound and laid down truly one of the simplest chord progressions you will ever hear. The beauty in this pattern is the offbeat rhythms. Now we need to mix the psych rock with the pop and the pop with the psych rock. I used my strat into a chorus, into a phase 90, into a UAD Dream 65. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> and I just followed the chords. You can do it in way cheaper methods such as this. Tame Impala always has that bass that makes you want to groove. So it's important to have a feel of melody in the bass. And of course we need to distort and saturate the f out of this. and this lead just keeps the verse moving. So that was easy. In the pre-hook, the sonics are changed by the drums being taken away. Bye-bye. Now we need way more pop. These offbeat syncopated chords will definitely do the trick. Using a profit, which Kevin Parker uses here. The sub bass follows the root notes of the chords, filling out the low end. So we know how important drums are to Kevin. Drums are the most important thing to me. So these drum fills are essential to giving a live drum sound. 
the chorus then needed a simple yet catchy melody, as many other Tame Impala tracks do. And you know we need that reverb. Then I needed a super creative way to get back to the verse, which definitely was not copied from Pharrell. That's not even from Pharrell, why would you even ask that? It's definitely not a Tame Impala psych, pop, rock, hip hop track without a big switch to new chords. Today's video is sponsored by Audimi. Audimi allows you to convert your vocals with their royalty free voices, train your own voice, create copyright free vocal covers and so much more. They have all these separate features but today I'm going to choose to isolate the vocals and just put them over the finished beat. So it's easier as you just select the download and you have all these other options which you can do but for this one I'm going to choose to just remove the instrumental and isolate the vocals. And here you can hear the vocals sound so clean. My affiliate link will be in the description. They have tons of different plans, including a free plan. Thank you to Audemy for sponsoring and let's get back into it. So let's chop the end of the verse to get to the bridge. The same instruments play this even simpler progression. The little progression. Oh my. Play this even simpler progression. And I played this super creative, never heard before bass pattern. It's super creative. This Red Hot Chili Pepper style guitar leads us to the, I don't know, the, the bridge chorus? And let's add another drum fill to get to this chorus. I love drum sounds. And of course, a new drum pattern. And let's give the beat a climactic feeling by layering the guitars and pad with this Rhodes. This melody and bass line, which also kind of plays the melody, were inspired by Let It Happen. to give the beat an even more euphoric feeling. The Red Hot Chili Pepper style guitar is added alongside this tambourine loop. So what can you take away from this video to be the next Tame Impala? Mixing genres is cool, seventh chords are cool, heavy saturated drums are cool, distorted bass is cool, using plenty of synths is cool, and definitely don't be in a band. Well, Tame Impala is your band. Uh-huh. It's all me, yeah.